Hey guys, welcome back. It's Drive Mix Game, and today we're going to answer a question from Tyler McCoy, one of my subscribers who wants to know if trucks like the Hylion Hyper Truck ERX and other clean energy trucks will actually lower the barrier of entry into the American trucking industry and will it assist with driver retention? And we're going to answer that question right now. <laughs> Okay, what's up guys? Uh, so uh, we're going to answer that question today. Um, will the Hypertruck ERX uh, be easier to drive and is it going to give an opportunity and actually make it easier uh, uh, for newer, newer coming truck drivers to uh, come into the industry? Um, and uh, before I answer that question, or well, I want to go through it with you guys so that we can actually get to this answer together. So. We'll start off here on Hylion's website under the Innovation Council tab. And I know for a fact, let's just say that I was a new truck driver. We're all new truck drivers. We want to go to, we want to go get our licenses. Okay. So basically, um, in 2007, I decided that I was going to go through the process and be a truck driver. And on this Innovation Council here, the company that I actually started with is there, it's Schneider. Now I know that Schneider and Werner both offer training like they'll actually like educate you like they have schools um, where you can learn to be a truck driver and if you guys don't believe me let me uh, show you guys here there it is this is my certificate when I actually graduated back in uh, what is that 2007 yeah August 10th of 2007 I've been a truck driver for almost 15 years now and that's from Schneider National Training Academy yeah wow trip down memory lane you usually don't get a brand new truck when you are new and trucking is a trade and it's not to be well you're new you can't get a new truck right away there's actually pretty good reasons why you almost certainly won't get a new truck if you were to start at Schneider and or and or Werner, a larger carrier um, who hires a lot of drivers and the pay usually isn't that great when you're new. And there's also a reason for that as well. Well, let's start off with the rules that just changed, which makes it harder than it used to be to become a CDL Class A licensed driver that just took effect in the United States, February 7th of this year, 2022. So if you did not get your license before February 7th of 2022, it's gonna be a lot harder. Now, that is an actual requirement, as you guys can see here, beginning February 7th, 2022, the new entry level driver training regulations will require certain CDL applicants to complete training before being permitted to take the required skills or knowledge test, meaning you cannot even take the test to obtain your CDL license until you've gone through a truck driving school like I went through uh, at Schneider, a private school or one that Werner offers. I think Werner goes through Sage. Now, later on in this article, you'll see that uh, Oida said that that is absolute lunacy, and I can agree why they would say that. Because if you guys don't know who Oida is, they're the Owner Operator Independent Drivers Association. And this is a level of trucking that you can get to um, normally after you've worked for some larger carriers. You don't have to, well, I guess you have to now if you don't have a CDL license because you have to go through a school now. They just changed that raw, uh, law um, February uh, 7th. Now, OIDA said that this is absolute lunacy, and I'm sure you guys can imagine why they would say that. If I had a family member with a truck and they wanted to give me the truck and I wanted to, they wanted to teach me how to drive the truck one summer, um, once I turned 21, you know, and then uh, I could learn from that person 
and then I could go take the test and become a CDL licensed driver and I could be an owner operator or just a company truck driver um, and I didn't have to go through that school system. Well, now if you don't have a CDL license, you're basically being forced to go through this schooling system. And the problem with that is, is that a lot of these bigger carriers like Schneider aren't going to pay you that much when you start out. And I'm not too happy with that. Most truck drivers won't be happy with that. But you have to understand there is a reason why they do that. Number one, they're taking on a lot of risk. You're a new, unexperienced truck driver driving an 80,000 pound vehicle on public roads. You're likely to have an accident. It is likely. I mean, it, it doesn't have to happen. In my case, I was able to navigate the road safely, uh, which I'm very thankful for. A lot of it is attentiveness. A lot of it is luck. I thank God for it. But when you're new, you're likely to have an accident. And I've gotten into many, many hairy situations. I remember my first six months. And when I used to drive, there was no GPS. Um, and we had to do things, you know, basically off of the information that a driver who had been to a location before had written down and passed along to you. But I don't want to get off track too much. In terms of clean energy trucks, and we're talking about Hylion, Hyzon, BYD, whoever, okay? This isn't Hylion specific. Newer truck drivers aren't really going to get the opportunity to drive a newer truck because of some of these reasons. One, especially a truck that runs on CNG or hydrogen, which is an explosion risk, you're probably not going to get into that truck right away. No, you probably won't. But that's not the only reason. It's not the fact that you're new and the company's taking a risk, uh, you know, letting you drive the truck and the fact that you're probably going to have an accident. They're probably not going to let you drive a brand new truck and they're probably not going to let you drive a truck that's an explosion risk because you haven't proven yourself. But there's actually more information behind that to go along with it. Um, this is actually Sage, uh, which is Werner, who is also on the Innovation Council. That is their uh, approved truck driving school if you wanted to work at work. Um, the other reason why a newer entry level driver probably is not going to get a new truck, uh, regardless of whether or not it's an electric truck, clean energy truck, BEV, semi-hybrid electric truck, is because of the current insurance policy requirements in the trucking industry. So it's, it has nothing to do with the clean energy trucks uh, that are made by Hylion or Tesla or BYD or, or Hyzon, Nikola. No. Uh, as you guys can see here, highlighted in purple on this article produced by CDL.com, most insurance companies will not insure a driver that does not have at least two years of experience. The only way to gain those two years of experience may be and now it will be, uh, you'll have to be a company driver if you haven't obtained your CDL license as of February 7th of this year, may be for a company to be self-insured and for a new driver to get insurance coverage, coverage through the self-insured company. You have to really work for a larger carrier like Schneider or Werner when you're starting out. And you really do now because uh, on a federal level, they change the law with the driver's license uh, or obtaining your CDL. So you're gonna basically have to go to one of these larger mega carriers and they're not gonna give you a new truck. And they're definitely not gonna give you one because if you get into an accident with that new truck, it makes their insurance rates go up. So they usually give you, you know, because they're taking on a lot of risk, but at the same time, they can get early on a lot of cheap labor. And I don't want you guys to think that it's like a bad thing. Once you get in the industry, it's on you to make your money. It's just like professional sports. Uh, when you get drafted into the league, whether you're NFL, NBA, NHL, uh, MLB, right? You're not going to get that that awesome, you know, $80 million a year contract right off the bat. No, you're going to get paid cheap money because you have to prove yourself. So it's the same way. If you're smart and you pay attention and you focus, regardless of what truck you're driving, after two years, you can basically go wherever you want. And then you can go to a company that may have highly on hyper truck ERXs or BEV or electric trucks or clean energy trucks and you would have the opportunity to drive them. So to answer Tyler McCoy's question, which is, is the truck easier to drive? Well, it doesn't really apply because as a newer truck driver, you're not going to get to drive 
one of those brand new trucks. It's going to be highly unlikely, especially at a mega carrier. Um, so will the truck being, being easier to drive uh, be an advantage? No, but in terms of newer drivers coming into the industry, it will not um, lower the barrier of entry. It really is kind of a desirable truck. I mean, to tell you the truth, as a truck driver, you would want to get into a newer truck regardless. Usually once you've been around in the business for two years, you have the opportunity to, hey, you want to be a lease driver? You want to be an owner operator? Do you want to stay company? If you're going to stay company like I did, I stayed company my whole career, then you probably want to get in a newer truck. And the advantages of being in a newer truck are one, it's going to be cleaner. No one's been in it before you. So you can set it up just the way you want. You can keep it clean, maintain it. You don't have to worry about it having little kinks and, and cracks and, and thumps and thuds and noises. You'll know, you know why the refrigerator works and if it doesn't work, you know, you know why it doesn't work. It's because you probably broke it. You were the first person in the truck. So it gives you the opportunity to really take care of and, and maintain the truck the way that you would want to maintain it. And because you have experience now, you know the things to check for outside of the truck in terms of preventative maintenance and inside of the truck, the things that you can keep clean and setting it up the way that you want. So yes, there's an advantage there. And the major advantage, once an experienced driver gets the opportunity to go to a company or stay at a company like Schneider or Werner to drive you know, a newer truck, which is more than likely gonna be one of these highly on units, um, uh, or just BEV or clean energy trucks. Once you get that opportunity to do so, going into, in my opinion, the Hypertruck ERX would be uh, uh, something that might make me stay at a Schneider or a Werner company. Because instead of me jumping ship now and taking that $5,000, $10,000 sign-on bonus that company XYZ is offering me to leave Schneider or Werner, I can say, hey, well, you know, Schneider or Werner said, you know, I could drive this brand new Hypertruck ERX and I can stay here and I don't know, maybe the pay will be more, maybe the pay will be less. It depends on the driver. It depends on your ability to market yourself and look for your, for a job. You guys have to remember trucking is a trade. You're only limited by yourself. You could, you could end up uh, owning as many trucks as you want. That's what Jerry Moyes did. He's the owner of Swift Transportation. He started out as a truck driver and now Swift has, I don't know how many trucks, they have over 10,000, but you can go as far as you want in trucking. It's a trade. So once you gain the experience, hey, if you want to stay, you can stay. If you want to leave and shop for more money, you can. But companies that have the Hypertruck ERX, due to its comfort, it is going to be a lot easier to drive. All the systems are automated. It's going to be a lot less stressful, especially when you're in the city um, and making deliveries, especially at nighttime because it'll be more quiet. Um, you won't have to worry about going through the gears and traffic. So once you gain that experience, you will probably see the value in being able to drive the Hypertruck ERX. And it may be an incentive for a more experienced driver to stay at a company or to attract more experienced drivers. But in terms of newer truck drivers, no. And that's just because of the insurance requirements and because of this new law that was recently passed in terms of uh, drivers having to, and you can see it up here on top of Sage School's um, website, new CDL training requirements, February 7, 2022. So basically at this point, if you are a newer truck driver coming to the industry, you will most likely have to wait for your opportunity to drive a uh, clean energy trucking vehicle. I appreciate you all guys watching and uh, stay tuned for the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks again. Drive, mix, game.